What's up guys? So there's a uh, project that I have not shared any information with you guys about. And I think I will today. It's not really mine, it's not mine. It's actually belongs to the ranch, but it's something that would greatly benefit us in the construction of our house. And me and my dad and my brother have been trying to get this to work for about three weekends in a row now. So say hello to the old Chevy C10 or C50 pickup. It's been sitting here for quite some time. So I have got some more parts here for it. And I'm going to see if we can get it to start. So we can get it right now. We can get it to turn over but we have no spark no spark at all um, so today I've got some new stuff I've got a new distributor cap I've got a new rotor got a new points got new uh, condenser got all the stuff we've already put a new coil on it <laughs> so we've got a bunch of parts that we are gonna try to add and replace to this engine to see if we can get it to fire because like I said this would be hugely beneficial so so here's what we got going on here's the distributor back here here's the coil we've already replaced it it's the old cap that I'm gonna replace today as you can see I mean it's been it has been sitting for quite some time so let's get these parts replaced and maybe just maybe it will fire up um, Larry's gonna come help me try to figure it out and here comes Joe here comes Josie can you say hi Hi. what do you got I got babies in my tummy you got babies in your tummy yeah what are you doing Tanky coming? Who else we got? Tanky back there. I can't even play at the farm. I, I didn't bring my shoes. What? Yeah. Guess you gotta be barefoot today. Okay. Yeah, buddy. You wanna get the toy bucket from the like the barn over there, and you can't. We don't have the key. We don't know how to open it. Well, I'm working on the truck at this very moment, but I, once I get done with that, I'll come. I'll come open the barn up for you, okay? Well, let's just go do it real quick. So we'll work on the truck in a minute after we take care of the children. All right, get down, Joe. Yeah, I want to kill So I don't know what you have found in your experience dealing with the children, but I found that they're like the persistent widow in the Bible. They're just going to keep coming back asking you for the same thing over and over again until you do it. Might as well just give them what they want now. Right? No, or else they're, they're just going to keep bugging me. It's always right when you're about to start getting ready to do the work that you need to do. And then it just the interruptions begin. The life of being a father. The joys of being a father. We've got a bucket of toys. Bucket of toys up here in the top for the kids to play with. There's your bucket of toys. <laughs> You're welcome. So the work begins and it's a lot of work. We gotta finish off some of the stuff that we left the last time. And now we're just replacing parts. All of these old parts that have sat for the last 20 years with new parts. It's basically a process of trial and error. Eliminate the problems and see what you can get out of the Pray. thing. <laughs> and okay. at some point in there, all you here. can do is cross your fingers, say a little prayer, and turn the key and see what happens. So 
Well, then you make a few more minor adjustments and then do the same thing over again. Okay, good news is that we've got a little, we've actually got fire, which we did not have last week or the week before that or the week before that. So we'll see if this, I'm gonna go get a little gas to put down the carburetor, see if it'll give it a little motivation here. So at this point, we finally have fire. We finally have a way to get the engine to turn over. Then we figure out a ghetto rigged way to get gas down on the carburetor to give the engine a boost. And you saw that little puff of smoke. That's when we knew we had a major issue, that our timing was not like what it said it was in the book. So from here, we had to try to go through and do a process of trial and error and figure out what our timing was like in this engine. Once we had our best guess done, we did the same thing again. Said a little prayer and see what happens. Okay, everybody. Moment of truth. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what happened with my camera there, but it locked up. But we were getting fire. We just weren't getting it to sustain itself. So we had a fuel issue. So we decided to figure that one out. And then... Success. We got her running, but the brakes, they are not moving at all. So that is not, that's the next thing, I guess. But man, so happy to have this thing running. feel accomplished today. I can't thank Larry enough. Larry, I could not have done it without Larry being here. He knows, he knows his stuff. So that was a huge help. So I'm going to get these, uh, get the battery disconnected and get the air filter and stuff put back on it. So it's ready to go for next time when we get to come out and, uh, figure out, figure out the brake situation now. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was uh, quite an adventure. Uh, the last thing I'm going to let you see is I'm going to go across the road, take a look at the uh, dirt, or take a look at the road, the pads, take a look at the pond. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, give us a like. Um, once, oh, I'm hoping I can give you guys some good news next week. Oh, we're so close. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore at this point. So, like, subscribe, comment down below, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys on the next video. So I really can't thank Larry enough. He did all this work with us on this truck and I really couldn't have done it without him because he, he actually knows what he's doing with these older engines and engines in general. And he's also done so much work on getting our house ready to be built on this pad and digging out some stuff for a pond for us. It's just been a really, he's just been really awesome in giving us help wherever we've needed it. So thanks Larry. And once again, if you haven't liked, subscribed, given us a, our, our notification bell a ring, do that for us. That helps us a lot. And we love being able to share this whole adventure with you guys. The ups and the downs and a lot of the waiting. I'm so tired of the waiting. But all good things come with patience. So you know what? A little bit more and we'll be ready to go. Anyway, 
We'll see you guys on the next video.